channel welcome back to another mukbang today is an exciting mukbang because a lot of you guys always ask me what my favorite korean dish is and this everybody is my favorite korean dish this is called tanchi guksu which is basically like a if you translate it tanchi is like festival kind of like a get-together like a celebratory kind of thing so it's really well known to be eaten during like weddings or birthdays or any kind of festivities there's like zucchini in here carrots eggs noodles it's just literally my favorite okay and my mom put shrimp in here I'm so excited then we got some kimchi and then we got some chicken mu which is basically just like pickled radish, kind of. And then my mom made a chon. Chon is basically like a pancake kind of style. I think it's like, I think it's chives and shrimp. I don't know, but I'm starving, so I'm gonna eat. I haven't had this in forever. Mmm. It's kind of a little bit like cloudy out. My hair is in a clip. I'm just living life. I also changed the setup a little bit so you guys can see the food a little bit better. It's so good. This is actually on my mom's channel if you guys want to try making it at home. As well as this. As well as this. I will post like a type of pancake she's put up. It's not exactly this one. This one's really good. But you can basically make anything with like the same batter. Okay, this is going to be a really big bite. Mmm. The black stuff that you guys are seeing at the top here is also um, seaweed. It's not some random thing. If you were wondering. Oh my gosh. Why is it so good? I missed it. I ask to eat this every year on my birthday. It's my go-to meal. My mom knows to expect it. I'm gonna try the soup. Mmm, this chun is really good. Mm hmm. And then water, of course. It's 
always that first sip that gets me. So freaking good. <clears throat> I think I fell in love with this noodle dish when I was like a teenager. And people were always surprised. Because I guess it's more common for like older people to enjoy it more than like younger people. But I'm a sucker for soup. I think that's why I like it. I also can eat soup. I mean, I can eat noodles really fast. So don't be alarmed because I'm like inhaling it. It's normal. If you guys are wondering what I'm dipping it in, it's just soy sauce and vinegar. So I definitely made the mistake of wearing a sweatshirt, but that's fine. It's fine. Just sweat all the toxins away. It's fine. No. If you have tried Korean food, let me know what your favorite meal is. And it could be anything. It can be Korean barbecue. It can be, I don't know, bibimbap, naengmyeon. Tteokbokki. Mm, you don't have to have a complex, you know. Or if you don't have a favorite one, what Korean foods have you tried? I know the common ones are... I know the common ones are like kimbap, tteokbokki. I'm trying to think what else. What else is there that's like common and well known? Oh my gosh, why can't I think of any? Hmm. Or if you think of any, you let me know, because I'm drawing a blank. Hmm. Usually, I don't really like kimchi, but today I said it shall be eaten. Hopefully, you guys don't mind that I don't really talk when I'm eating. I'm not very used to talking when I'm eating, unless I have someone there with me. Other than that, I'm very like, when I'm eating, I'm eating. Like, it was probably because growing up, we never really 
talked a lot. Growing up, I didn't have like a traditional, like everyone sat down and we all ate dinner together. We were all on such different time schedules. So, you know, it wasn't until like I got older that we sat down and ate dinner, like all four of us. Before that, I used to eat on my own, like on my own schedule and my mom would eat on her own and sometimes she would wait for my dad so they could eat together, but I rarely ate with like, you know, my family. So because of that, I'm so used to just like eating my food. I feel like even when I'm like, no, cause actually when I'm with my friends, I'm fine. Like I can talk and eat, but because in this situation I feel like I'm alone even though I'm talking to you guys like I am actually literally eating alone I'm just so focused on eating and I forget that I'm like oh wait like the camera's on stay with me mmm Soup hits hard. There's onions, green onions, carrots, uh, zucchini, egg, seaweed. The broth is made from like anchovies and like other kinds of seafoods. Oh no. Just slurping away. I guess this is a perfect time to like do questions again. I feel like I haven't opened this book in forever. Do you like to meet new people? Yeah. Depends on the approach, but usually I'm pretty good. Can you do any tricks with your tongue? I can tie a cherry stem. I don't know if that's a trick. Not with my literal tongue. I can only do the little circle thing. I always wanted to figure out how people did the little squiggly thing, but and the longer you look at it, it just looks a little weird. I never got to it. How many slices of pizza can you eat in one sitting? If you give me like a thick, like normal pizza, I can probably only do two at most. I don't know why the dough just gets too much for me. Like I can't do pizza. I wish I could. However, if you get me a Domino's or yeah, a Domino, mm, I can do both Domino's or Pizza Hut. If you get me a thin crust, large pizza, I can eat the whole thing. Not in one sitting, but I can eat it like in one day. Does that make sense? I just feel like the dough is too much for me. Cause when you do thin crust, I'm like, oh, it's kind of like you put it on like a, a thin cracker or, you know, I don't know. It's like less doughy. Does that make sense?
Hi, you guys. My camera battery just died, so luckily I had my phone right next to me. So we're, I guess I guess I'm just gonna finish up. Luckily, I don't have that much food left, so you're not really missing out. I guess I'm just gonna finish whatever is left, but thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time.